talk about. He's quite poor. Hello and welcome to the channel. My name is Ian and this is a series of videos about dealing with this little, not, not so little really, um, reel to reel recorder. So this is a Philips EL3542A. Not quite sure what the A means. And in the last video, which is linked down below, I did go through the main controls of it. What we're going to do in this video is we're going to clean the heads uh, because I think they need a bit of a clean. I've been running quite a lot of old tape because that's the reason I bought the machine uh, and with old tape you get more more particles uh, of oxide coming off the tape um, so the way that we do this and I've got a couple of tricks really so what we actually need is we need some isopropyl alcohol or methylated spirits I've got some industrial methylated spirits that I've had for decades um, uh, and we need some cotton buds this type of thing um, these are one these are Morrison's baby cotton buds uh, not sponsored um, so the first thing to do if you haven't got any of those and you're, you're using a tape deck and it can be a cassette tape deck because the principle whether you're doing a reel-to-reel -reel machine or a cassette tape deck are exactly the same so the first thing to do is if you haven't got any of this stuff and, you, and, and suddenly you're getting dropout or the, the top end of the treble, what treble there is on tape, uh, the treble starts to deteriorate. What you can do is you can use your fingernail over the, provided you've got a decent fingernail, over the actual um, record playback head. Now, let me just quickly show you where we are with the playback head. On this machine, we need to remove uh, this. So, and that's just held on there by three little pins. What we've got here is this is the main playback record head. I think this one is the erase head. And then when we come to clean it, we're going to have to clean. There's a pinch wheel, there's a roller right in there. So all of these guys and things need to be cleaned. The first thing you can do, and actually it's quite difficult on this machine because usually you, the head is more exposed, but you, you get your fingernail. I can't get my fingernail in there. I'd have to remove this top panel, which is, I don't think just comes off. I think it actually is screwed in. Uh, I'm not gonna mess with that. Actually, one of the things you can do, because I've got some cotton buds, let me just quickly see what sort of stuff we get off the head without putting any alcohol on it but just doing that for a couple of seconds so and as you can see we've already just without putting any alcohol on there's quite a bit of muck on there already so um, I'm going to go through that process now, um, I'll speed it up, I'll sort of leave the camera in a position where you can probably try and see at least, something like there. Now, it's also worth mentioning, when we actually come to clean the roller, what we want with the roller is we want to get the brown tape oxide off, but we don't, because on, especially on an old machine, we don't want to be getting lots and lots of black 
of the roller. Now, that's what we're looking like so far. We're seeing quite a lot of brown. You'll know, and if you're getting to the point where there's a lot of a lot of very very black marks coming off the roller. What's happening there is that the roller is actually worn, and you should probably stop because you'll make it worse rather than better. So what I'm doing here is I'm just moving the roller around and holding the cotton swab over it and once I get to the point where most of the dirt is coming off then I will stop it's looking and it actually looks pretty good now um, is there anything else I need to clean I'll clean that the next thing to do is because I've been using chemical is just quickly go and wash my hands and then we'll finish off So I'm, going, I'm now going to let the methylated spirits evaporate. So one of the questions you could ask is what is the difference between methylated spirits and isopropyl alcohol? So they're both alcoholic type liquids. Uh, the key difference between methylated spirits and isopropyl alcohol is that methylated spirits contains ethyl alcohol mixed with methanol and other components, whereas the isopropyl alcohol is pure alcohol liquid and has no added components. But both will do the job in this case. I mean, as you can see from the state of the cotton buds, and you, we keep going until the actual cotton bud itself is pretty clean. So I hope that was useful. So thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers now. Bye-bye.